So, do you have a Punjabi classic movie script for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking that we could remake The Legend of Malajat, or as I would like to call it, Punjabi Conan the Barbarian. Did you just say Punjabi Conan the Barbarian? You see, sir, in order to earn money, we must make Mola Jutt look like a thing from the European Dark Ages, where a Punjabi pin has bars, a coliseum, and five-star hairdressers. Don't you think the audience will find that a bit hard to believe? Well, yeah, the intelligent ones might, but you know, intelligence is seriously lacking in the audience that we are targeting. Well, okay then. How does the movie start? It starts by Mola Jutt's parents being absolutely slaughtered by some bad guys. Oh my god. And Jutt got injured during the battle and somehow survives. How do the parents get killed? They get stabbed by a bunch of guys with swords. And the people with swords didn't think it was necessary at all to double check the people that they stabbed to make sure they're all dead. No, they did not. Well, uh, why not? Well, so the movie can happen. <laughs> Very considerate of them. So Judd gets saved by Gandalf the Grey wannabe. I'm sorry, did you just say Gandalf the Grey? Yes sir, Gandalf the Grey wannabe, I said wannabe. This is a classic Punjabi movie remake that we're doing, right? Yes sir, we are. Well, okay then. So Judd turns into this big Colosseum gladiator and manages to attract the cutest female in the village. And who is this girl being played by? By Myra Khan, sir. And you think Myra Khan is cute? I sure do, sir. Did you get your eyes checked recently? Uh, no, why? Uh, never mind. So a few uninteresting scenes later, we are introduced into the villains of the story, including the main villain called Nuri. So where do these villains reside, actually? In a freaking big fortress, sir. Oh, villains with freaking big fortresses are tight. And then Judd gets into a fight with one of their henchmen and finds out that his father was ruler of Punjab and was killed by the same villains that sent those henchmen. Okay, okay, and then what happens? Then Judd has to fight the evil Heat Ledger Joker wannabe villain, who is also Nuri's brother or something, and take his rightful throne back to rule Punjab. Uh, I'm sorry, I just want to ask again, this is a Punjabi classic movie that we are remaking, right? Well, yes, but actually, no. What? So after Judd defeats Joker, he sends Joker back to his big fortress with big black stuff on his face. Oh, putting black stuff on people's faces is tight. Oh my god, what? Uh, face paint, I was talking about face paint. I hope you were, sir. Okay, so then what happens? Well, then Mala Judd meets this evil vamp, and then the villain of the story, Nuri, attacks Judd's village in the meantime and kills Judd's foster brother. Alright. And then what happens? Well, then a typical revenge story, Judd woes to avenge his brother, gets asked by Nuri's sister to impregnate her. Well, that doesn't seem like a typical revenge story at all. Well, then Judd gets blamed by some hired assassins for killing Nuri's sister by some other unimportant character that wishes to take the fort for himself in rule Punjab. Oh, that sucks. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, did we have to blame Judd for killing Nuri's sister when we have already established that Judd wishes to take the throne anyway, and Nuri and him have to clash. Well, yes, because I want Nuri to absolutely massacre Judd's village. Do you have a fascination of massacring and slaughtering small villages or something? Yes! Oh my god. So Judd arrives just in time to save his lover by untying her from a pole at the center of a village or somewhere prominent, I don't care. Oh, we're doing the save your girlfriend cliche as well, oh boy. Yes, and then eventually Judd kills Nuri, avenges his father's death, and then we leave the movie on a cliffhanger, as the villain that hired the assassins previously now wishes to fight a Judd that was injured from the previous battles. Oh, so we're setting up a sequel, do you think this movie will do well? Sir, do you think a movie that is a Punjabi version of Conan the Barbarian has a Joker, has a Gandalf the Grey, has Myra Khan, and a European Dark Age theme won't do well for the audience that we are targeting? Now that you say that, I think it'll be a huge success.